Hi, I'm Eduardo Nuret with Campus Reform. The 19th anniversary of 9-11 is tomorrow, so we're here today to talk to students to see what they remember about that tragic event in our history. Let's find out. All right, so what do we commemorate on 9-11? The loss of the lives of the tower. Which tower? The, the Twin Towers. Tra World Trade Center. All right, what do we commemorate as a country on 9-11? Um, whoa, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that word means. Obviously, we've all heard like what happened that day, unfortunately. Something really bad happened, but as a country, we were able to come together and fix what had happened and better ourselves. So yeah, let's get a little specific about what happened there. Walk us through, you know, September 11th. Well, the two Twin Towers um, the, were standing there, and I believe it is... Hold on, give me a second. Mm. No, I can't tell you where it's at, but I know there are two Twin Towers. Somewhere in the U.S., two Twin yes. Towers. Somewhere in the U.S., two Twin Towers. Every year, pretty much, we'll just, you know, remember all the people that, you know, passed away and everybody that lost their life and their families. And Do you remember what cities were targeted? Yeah, New York, right? There was another major U.S. city that was targeted, uh, obviously on a much smaller scale. Do you remember what happened there? Do you remember what city that was? Are they trying to go for, like, the Pentagon or something? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know what city that's in, but... I don't know anywhere else. Do you remember who we were attacked by? I don't. I think it was just two immigrants that flew planes. It was a terrorist group. It was um, led by Osama bin Laden. Do you know what terrorist group he was affiliated with? No. I mean, do you? No, I do not. Not off the top of my head. I know it was the Middle East. I'm not sure who exactly. I know it was like those people. My God, what was his name? Hussein Udon. Hussein, something like that. I can't. I can't remember his name. Os Osama bin Laden and Al Qaeda. Like the Taliban or like uh, Afghanistan or like Iraq. Osama bin Laden. Al Qaeda. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walk me through the events of that day. There was a terrorist attack on America, and um, two planes uh, were flew into the Twin Towers in New York and uh, like blew up the top, the top part. A lot of people were injured. Um, people were trying to escape. And a lot of people on the plane ended up dead, unfortunately. You know, that's that's pretty much what happened, though. Like, it was just a terrorist attack. Yeah. Some people have wondered whether, when teaching about 9-11, it's appropriate to mention the fact that they were Islamic terrorists. Do you think we should include that fact when we teach about 9-11 to younger Americans, to younger people? I think it should be taught to a certain extent. I don't think so. I think they have everybody should know about it and have the right to know what happened. It don't really have nothing to do with, like, them being Islam. It could have been anybody, Christian, uh, Jew. That mentality really affects people from, like, the Islam community. Um, I think it's a fair point to an extent because, I mean, it was on the part of um, a terrorist group from outside of this country. But I feel like in order to make it a little more um, fair and to give people a little bit more of a well-rounded education on this specific topic, we also have to talk about the fact that the a lot of the terrorism acts that occur in this country are from people who were born here. I don't think they should, yeah, like bring in the word Muslim or Islamic just because it does like kind of, I feel like it offends of someone who is Islamic or Muslim. It's a part of history. All the details should be known about what happened, but it doesn't make a certain race bad. I think that we should because that just happened to be those people that were involved. That's part of history. I'm from New York and, you know, that day was definitely a, it was hard for everyone. I was, you know, I was one years old at the time, but my family, they went through, they saw it on TV and it definitely shunned the whole world. We don't really talk about it as much in school. It's, we all take time to remember about it, but we never take time to actually learn about what happened. About Hi, I'm Eduardo Nuret with Campus Reform. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, be sure to click the subscribe button right here. And if you're interested in joining the Campus Reform team as a correspondent, investigator, or tipster, click right here.